Right. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. That wasn't nice. Grand Rising, everyone. Welcome back. It's Shalanda or Shea Seeking, and I'm back with another video. And um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do um, a second Samuel uh, 22. Again, we just passed 222. All right. Yeah. Second Samuel uh, 222. Um, Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm, hold on one second. Okay. All right. Ooh, wee, what did I say? So this goes back to, but okay, this goes back to Bathsheba and Marquita to me automatically so i feel like source is stepping in but the ancestors are here as well and um i feel like again when we go back to the keeper nagast okay because right now we're dealing with people who have coveted people's um titles or names or have an understanding if you think about this in the biblical text these people you would think that these people knew who they were OK, because we're going to talk about this real quick when it came to the energy of whatever I was picking up on Elizabeth. See, because there's always two sides of it. There's a mirroring effect. There's as above, so below. As above, so below. I feel like this has to do with Dan, reptilian energy, the world card. The feminine energy that has been in that wreath when it comes to the world card. OK. Um. But again, I, I tell this story in real time revelation, you know, as being an oracle, a seer, a scryer in that energy. And also someone who is living this or has lived parts of this. And so <clears throat> my thing is also to get the knots out, like the card that we pulled the other day with the knots in it. I can pull and pull and pull on something, just one image over and over again. one storyline to correlate in history, in the biblical text, in real life, you know, what these things correlate with. So just like now, I know who I am, but I can see them creating or building someone up to be in that particular position. Just like in the past, I know who I was, but I feel behind the scenes there's a narrative that have been played out with somebody else that is actually living their life like that, like it's golden, golden off of the. So again, I see two couples here, the ones that are the ones and the ones in the likeness of, right? So where I felt like at, in my youth when when I was uh, married or whatever, something was split with either energy because I deal with energy, so something was split with either energy or a fake death and somebody was swapped out somebody's energy was swapped out it could be also what i what i was doing in those images was not to f blast somebody it was sh to show the difference between the person that i met and i married in their facial features and who they look like and how they were then to what it is now those two people look totally different but those two people look just like the two people that were in that image on the airplane. So somebody like me would have to ask and question, is this that person or is this a, a secret twin or a doppelganger or someone that looks like them in the likeness of them that are actually, li you know, living their life again in a fundamental um, way where they are, you know, living someone else's legacy and also the ones that are able to indulge in the finances and things like that while the real queen and king have been you know living day to day check to check you see what I'm saying and I feel like something new is being done here but people are trying to use reasons to judge someone you know like and this is what I feel this is real time like that's why I'm saying in order to understand this and even see it interpreted the way I'm you would have to be okay It's almost like having to have the special, like knowing, knowing that you are who you say you are 
or having that special access or that special code when it comes to this word. Because bloodlines could be emulating and imitating other bloodlines and family line. That's why I say about documents being doctored. These type of things right here. It's about what the seasoning. It's about that, your DNA, your makeup, that which is in you right now that is even shining or radiating or you're shedding that light on it now. You are the truth, right? Being the truth, okay? So again, um, I feel like in this instance, the soulmate, even though things have been being projected, I feel like he is, you know, up until two years ago, he was the truth. Actually, India, I read that song was the song that I played at my wedding. But there's also this energy of this feminine energy that is a reader on here that looks just like India Irie. Okay. And I feel like I feel her energy in my energy as one of the spies or one of the birds that will be hovering over. And I can feel like she, she comes off very, you know, subtle and everything like that. Okay. Very subtle. Okay. But at the end of the day, I can see an envious streak in her. And it feels like sometimes it's in reference or reply to my vid. So again, think about it like that. If you have th hundreds of thousands of people that are sitting there trying to wait and take your title from you and, and, and they have secret access to your energy, but you can't see outside of the jar. You're locked in a jar. This is why sorcery has been done. Okay. Binding and blinding rituals. You can't see really outside of the, you have to focus on your, you have to go with your senses. So again, it doesn't take away the fact that you are a holy one. You see, and again, that's what it comes. Nobody can break or, or do something to that spirit. Right? So if you think about the, the, the wisdom energy, she is spirit. She is love. She is all of those particular things. She is the grounding or the balancing of, okay? And when you think about the, uh, uh, and, and she, she seeks love, she senses love, she, people gravitate towards her, you know, and she kind of wants to extend her arms out to others. So again, when I think about this and I think about the soulmate energy, uh, I was just having a, a conversation. I'm like, you know, up until two years ago, it was like a trust wise conversation up until two years ago, you know, exchanging, you know, uh, trust, like how, how we felt about trust when it came to each other before this, whatever this is that happened here. And like I said, I can be honest with you guys here because there's no need to hide anything. And I'll just say what I want to say and you'll have to guess what the hell you want to guess about the rest. All right. But the specific thing is... <clears throat> I can't go off of what I know because I don't know what somebody, I don't, I don't trust nobody a hundred percent fully. Right. But what I felt in my soul, I feel okay. Cause I'm hearing don't trip on the tarot root. Okay. So when I'm feeling like, um, I was picking up on his higher self, which is connected to one of the twin flames, but, um, uh, from since this past two years, it opened up that expansive spiritual part, that spiritual level here. And, you know, I'm not saying that the soulmate doesn't have it too. I'm just saying he's very quiet. I'm more boisterous about things. But that's what the spirit is going to do. It's going to shed light. Manna. Healing, a healing energy as well. But before any of this, like I said, to be honest with you, um... I can, the way I sensed it, maybe because I felt like I was in my own little world, is that I didn't really have any kind of trust issues or any worries about anything when it came to what we had. But there's always been some type of, uh, okay, this is what makes me think about a spiritual attack or a succubus energy. It always feels like there has been a hovering female spirit or something else where that person's heart was locked away. All right. So this is why I put this, ooh, this is why I put this King David image here. Right. So again, preparing for some, it's almost like whatever this throne energy is, somebody was planning on stealing this for a long time. So to keep what I feel like I'm seeing in this image here is, and this is just a deep answer. This is somebody just laying this out right here for me. Compartmentalized energy here within people.
Mm. And again, this makes me think about a God energy, actually. Mm. That's something within me, that self-love that I had to find because I couldn't find it in the soulmate. Again, like I said, there was a bond, a partnership. Uh, you know, we had tasks. We got along okay. There was no big arguments. You know, we didn't hate each other. You know what I'm saying? Or anything like this. I still don't. But I feel like whatever this is, the binding that had been done to me um, when it comes to me not being able to see, okay? I feel like the binding that happened with him was the binding of the heart. I don't understand why this had to happen or how or what, but I think it has something to do with this, this uh, astral telepathic energy that has been going on for centuries with certain, maybe people of um, Anunnaki bloodlines or reptilian bloodline, whatever it would be. It's been this way for a very long time, like a vir virtual trafficking something, right? So the, the woman is blocked so that she can't see the, or in her sleep or in her subconscious or sometimes, you know, with some people, I'm saying this, this is not everyone. This is royal heirs or bloodlines or anointed ones or chosen, we'll say a cho chosen ones is what I sense is going on. So you can't see the things that are the demons that may be coming in into your um, life in the astral world or in the sleep realm. For me, when I was little, I can see them in the physical. But I couldn't see them. You know, I've never been attacked or touched by. They just would be just like watching watchers on the wall or whatever in the dark sometimes. But I never felt like anything or anything like that. Never. Right? So again, we have to think spiritual. That spiritual realm has always been there. It's just like tapping into it. It's kind of like tapping into that Akashic field and being able to kind of go through this kind of thing and see this parallel energy here. And I feel like whatever, what, because we, somebody knew we were going to meet, this is high school sweetheart energy. Somebody knew that this, this was going to come together here. So I feel like the energy here of even the King David or Twin Flame could both be, you know, resonating with that energy. But I feel like, uh, the, the thing right here with this heart right here. Okay. Uh, he has this coin. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so if you think about this here, okay, just it, it made me think about these two fours here, okay. Mm. I, you know, I, I even should have put the four of wands here. I even should have put the four of wands here. Because definitely, okay, now I'm seeing where it's through the lineage. It's through the lineage. So this is why the telepathic energy is, the, okay, this is why it feels like that. The, the, this soulmate in a, in a physical, yes, but the higher realm that he won't share, okay, possibly. You know, because somebody being more logical or in their head or not really emotional or show to show affection. But like I said, I feel like this might have been, a, what the answer is telling me is this is a, a, for me to understand because I've been trying to go within and understand. I feel like this was something that was placed there to block something here, to restrict something. It, it's like restrict the heart, expand the mind. Okay. So the mental of this, 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 um, is very, he's very intelligent, right? Hmm. More logic, less heart. But when we even look at this coin here, maybe that's that ace of pinnacle that came out. Okay. All right. Cause I'm, but I'm definitely see this Virgo energy, but it's almost like this Virgo been there the whole time too. So this is why this King David energy is reflecting. I feel my energy with this black shawl right here. But also the masculine in the, in the 3d here.
it may be these these three swords right here i'm hearing like um how they're suspended in air here or suspended in above the air the air hair air or whatever it's also giving me back the um coat of arms of uh George Washington with the three stars above the earth. And maybe even this, Vir maybe this is the Virgo energy here, the sword here. It's either Virgo, maybe, or Gemini. I'm feeling like the, the scorpionic energy is these representing in these shoes for some reason. Maybe even in this cloak here, this red cloak. Mm. There might even be, like I said, a, a representation of this King David energy in the heavens. It's like three a Holy Spirit or whatever, okay? Energy here. And then two, a man and a woman. Maybe even four. A man and a woman, a man and a woman. Ooh. In the likeness of, or again, being heirs. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start reading. But... Definitely, I see why all of these energies had connected or whatever at this point in time. Head over heart, heart over head or whatever connection here. But also, you know, this is as a mate though, but you see what I'm saying? But it also, maybe this is the higher self here, all right? As above, so below. Because again, if you think about that energy here. I think that sometimes masculines restrict their heart because they don't want to fall or whatever. And they don't want to, you know, um, it's about giving that love out or something like that. But it's so funny though, because in this instance, I feel like there has been some kind of trickery done, right? And again, so why, you know what I'm saying, why uh, bind or blind the feminine energy if these two are supposed to come together and change the world one day, right? And then bind the heart of this, this masculine and then have the feminine energy starving for that. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like a feminine energy star starving for um, love or affection and a masculine energy starving for someone to meet him financially, right? So... Right when you get to a point when the masculine may be opening up, could had to be broken down or maybe think they're going to lose it to open up. And the feminine energy finally getting to a point where she is in, on her business and she's getting up. Why did this happen? Why did this two two year thing that we just went through happen? And I feel like because somebody has been messing with the destiny. And I can't figure out exactly why, but I'm somebody that like to study, you know, I calculate and, you know, I'd like to calculate and study things. Sometimes I, I, if I fall in a pit, I like to go ahead and go within and see what it was. And it's not to pay back nobody. It's not it's so that I can have a better understanding moving forward. So I feel what has been happening, somebody's been waiting for something to be sealed and, and faded here. And I just said, even last last night or in one of those last videos, I said, I don't know, but I feel like it got something to do with the South too. But what, what I feel is that a masculine or a king, right, what I felt was being channeled at one point in time through music, that a masculine was, was saying basically to me of the lineage somewhere, an ancestor some here, somewhere here was saying, I'm basically, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving something for you. Be on the lookout for it. Somebody else knew that and strategized and put these things into plan. And then now it's either going to be me going to sit where I'm supposed to be sitting. What was left by this ancestor that wanted to do what they wanted to do because that's what they wanted to do. And somebody didn't like that. Right. Yeah. Hold on one second. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hold on one second. 
I'm doing a video. Okay, hold on. I don't want... I, okay, hold on a second. I'll go. I'll go. I'm doing a video, please. Okay, well, then can you go? Like you ain't hear me doing no video. People be thinking they funny. Anyhow. Made me lose track. Okay, so yeah, I was saying the Southern energy because I feel like there's a f feminine energy already somewhere building on this particular inherited land or something that has been inherited possibly because there's this energy of a king or something that has already fallen, period, over the summer. Okay? But the thing that gets me is I feel like whatever's intertwined with that king's, okay, or that emperor's uh, in uh, estate, something is there that was something that was left over from me I feel something left over from me and my daughter because I feel like this has something to do with any, something that happened in 2019. And I feel like also there's a connection in maybe, uh, I don't know, 2017. But again, I will be oblivious to that unless it was brought to my attention. That maybe killed this individual off from society, okay? But either way it goes, I feel like what's happening now is there is some form of judgment going on. I'm just wondering who the judges are at this point because it feels like somebody's trying to finish off something that has to do with taking away somebody's generational wealth. What was supposed to happen did not happen um, uh, because of trickery and things being twisted around is what I feel with the ancestors, like I said, saying, saying to me. And it's either something that happened in the past, present, or future, okay? It's to change destiny of someone here, okay? And I feel like, again, some of this stuff has been uh, monitored, right? And some of it has been planned out, and some of it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just feel like that. It's like almost like it's there, but like almost like if you're going to comply or do things our way, um, you can have this, but if you're not, then you can't. But it's like these judges that are doing this on the earth are not even probably worthy of doing so. You understand what I'm saying? Or they've used other tactics in order to do this. Like I said, ritual, sorcery, or things like this. Um, this is just what I feel and what I'm sensing this morning. After kind of coming here and going, really going within here. So again, these, these swords have been... Um, washed and made clean that don't mean that they are clean or they have always been clean you understand and they've been suspended over this air here but this this one has been buried with the air okay so this makes me think about again if there is some kind of connection to some kind of um fake death or something and somebody actually you know went off and lived their life with the wealth with someone else and i think that this is what this is this consummation that i keep sensing that's trying to come whether it be spirit spiritual or, or spiritually or in the 3d is representing this same thing happening to this empress and i feel like this is where the ancestors are saying no you know what i'm saying i think this is something this is something deep that have to do with you know mind control or something like this also a doppelganger or so-called clone energy um yeah, things seen and unseen, okay? So again, by them binding and blinding me, it just heightened my other senses, okay? Which I feel like I'm hearing something like nine dimensions or ether or something like that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and read this. So yeah, there's four different energies here, okay, involved in this. And then this city of white and the city of gold here. This, this also making me think about... Um, two women uh, uh, feminine feminine energies one white and one um gold okay or the sun and man okay all right and so these red tops of these houses is making me think about russia and um moorish and islamic energy as well and then if you look at these gold if you look at the gold here to the right buildings you know you'll see this tar again tar hills it's making me think again about you know, the Carolinas. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, th yeah, these three swords are have been washed and made clean when this one was buried. So that thing that we read last night about I sit, I sit not a widow. Okay. I told you that could, I see things going in like different wavelengths. So I can see where it pertains to when, where it might be talking about with me, what it might be talking about with the soulmate and whoever else is, and whoever the third party is that's suspended in air. All right. So let's go ahead and read this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So whatever they've been doing, I feel like using succubus energy instead of inlining this and enlightening this within what was already there, the tricks of the trade were brought in. Mental things for me, this, I'm telling you, this is a twin energy here with this King David energy and with this black shawl with that black sur surname. I think it's connected to a, a Virgo that's ab as above. So the Virgo energy has been in the head of the divine mass of the soulmate. They have been linked like that mentally. Okay. But both, no, it's both. It's both. The Virgo energy has been in the head of the feminine energy and in the heart of the masculine energy. Okay, the Virgo energy as above has been in the head of the feminine energy and the heart or heart chakra or heart of the masculine energy. This is why it's the dual nature being twin flame. Or, or being linked with a twin ray or uh, a twin, a soulmate or something like that. Like, this is why I felt a strong feminine energy of a Virgo come in as above. And it felt as though we had some kind of love connection, okay? From the beginning of whenever this was that had happened. This connection when, I, you know, uh, this teenage love or whatever. Yes. <laughs> okay, now, okay, I'm trying to see this, all right? In the Gemini energy. Oh, two, two, though, two. Okay. All right. The Gemini energy has been in the heart of me or the chest would be this coin for me. And a scorpionic energy would be the mind for me, would be that twin energy. Ah, so that's why I feel close to Virgo, right? But just could not understand what, you know, like what that was, but I I don't know. It felt like uh, it's supposed to be, but what is that blockage there though? Is it the Gemini energy though? Uh, mm, the red heel that's in between the lovers. It's the red, the jealous God. The red heel that's in between the, the peak. That's in between the lovers. That blockage that has been in between them. And I'm afraid that it could be surrounding the Yehovah or Jehovah energy. I don't know why I, heard, I just heard Havala or even Hoover Dam. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, we're going to end. Let's go ahead and read. Let's go ahead and read. So again, this is an open book here, you know, just like this word, you know, and being here was the word, the word was God. You know what I'm saying? I resonate with the word without giving too much information. That just right there just cleared something up heavily for me. Not all the way, but it just cleared up a lot of shit to me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go into the text. All right. Okay. 
So again, this is not your mama's Bible study. I'm never here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm simply sharing what it looks like to me. And here, I'm this is the reason why it's an open book here is because I don't look at myself as no form of leader. First of all, I feel like I walk with people. I don't like the term followers. I feel like I learn stuff from people, situations, energy, all this stuff all day long. I'm I'm just like a sponge when it comes to, you know, uh, information, right? But it's almost like that funneling energy, like I said with Alice in Wonderland and going through that damn funnel. I like to, you know, I'm going to take in, I may take or hear, not take, but I may resonate with or hear or see something or whatever. And I feel like this has been done because of whatever blockage was there to help me, you know, fight through or bust through some kind of something, some kind of thing that has been put around. And I think whatever that border or that circle that has been put around, um, damn, maybe I, I'm, I'm even seeing a serpent in a, a serpent with eating his tail. Okay. Cause recently I seen that somewhere or Saturn, the, the ring of Saturn or the, th the ring that's around the, uh, world card. Um, yeah. Cause Alice was curious, curiouser and curiouser. Okay. So time to go down a real rabbit hole. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like, I don't know. I was just looking at this with, uh, Peter and someone with Peter and Saul and something else here. Okay. Right. It is making me think about this person coming down and because again, these, these could be people in different vassals today. All right. Like Peter could be a female. Paul could be a, you know, like these things, Saul could be a female, uh, whatever, whatever. And I think sometimes throughout this, if you are those that are can find yourself in this text or your lineage or your, you know, whatever this energy in this text, you may go through a Saul moment. It's energy. You could go through the, the moment of being a serpent. What will you do in that time though? Because just because like we read that before, that's why I don't like to look at anything as like super, just all the way evil like that. Right. When we're talking about these energies, especially when it comes to the serpent. Because, again, it depends on what you do with that serpentine energy. We all going to go through this awakening, this kundalini something. It's like these levels to it, okay? All right? So let's look at what it's saying here. Because this, this is what I was supposed to come back to last night, but we didn't get back to it. So we're going to do Psalm 51, and then we're going to go ahead and go back into 2 Samuel 22 and 2. All right? So, again, I'm never here to teach anybody anything. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, here to expand and learn and you know whatever just like anybody else would be okay you don't have to think like me i just want people to you know be open to or see that there's a whole new world or something that you can explore even for me i've never thought that i was a know-it-all i just know what i do know and i know i like to I, I like i like to be very thorough with that before i go talking about something else that i don't and i might talk about it like in simplicity, but I don't want to go deep into it until I know, right? So, um, so yeah, this is 51 and it's saying, have mercy upon me. Now I'm going to tell you this right now. Okay. I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm about to tell you this right now. There's, there's three energies here. There's three or four. Yeah. Four. It keep going back to the four, 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 four. All right. Yeah. Okay. Earthly, heavenly, whatever. Okay. These divisions have been put together to keep people away from each other. That's the one thing that makes me mad. So it may end up a situation where I may be out because I, I'm tapped into the spiritual level and tw twin flames will always be kind of having this coldness to each other if they're not able to be with each other because of titles and as above, so below. But it's, again, supposed to be as um, done on earth as it is in heaven. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like when these masculine energies maybe came around, they just stayed kind of, I don't know. I feel like something is just stayed away. And regardless, you know, like I said, it may have had something to do with um, connections and commitments. But I feel like, again, a lot of people, I don't know anybody's anything. But I feel like what we have been given the perception of is that masculine energies get away with a lot more things than feminine energies get away with. That Going back to that whole misogynistic energy, whether it's projected energy, spiritual energy, or what is going on in the physical. 
But I feel like this is a confession or something here. Now, this might even be astral projecting succubus energy, somebody coming on to somebody in their sleep or something. I don't know. Okay. Because I feel like this part has been blocked from me so that I don't know. And when I say the back door, I'm talking about the, the back doors to the mind. Something that somebody could blind a, this is why we see this blind, this blindfold on a lot of goddesses of the past. So if it's almost like to dirty somebody's water or to dirty or to have access to a sacred pool, okay? To defile it and to hate it, but also to block the heart of it. The heart is not blocked, but no, but the heart is not blocked of it. This is why I feel like we've been in a time where the gates of hell have been open, but then also the gates of heaven have been open. And I feel like it was meant for my heart to be cold or whoever came and looked at me and from a heavenly view would see somebody with a cold heart. They don't know that I haven't been given love. You know what I'm saying? That I've been like cast out as a black sheep of the family. I haven't, and I still have room to love and still not treat people in that manner. Being in a commitment and maybe not even receiving that and not even realizing what it really was until I had to, you know, tap in all the way into self-love, right? And so now I can give it and it's like that the twin flame journey was like a illusion or whatever to make me think that whatever my heart was being tied to, right? That's what I was going towards. I'm thinking, God, well, hey, if God want me to leave, I don't know why, you know, why, you know, this is how I was thinking, like. Want me to leave from a marriage for whatever this sensation that I'm feeling? There's nothing in the physical I see. You know what I'm saying? So again, or is that just a, a journey I have to go through to expand and open that part up to be able to do this? But I feel like there's something crafty has been going on. And I feel like somebody wants me to open up my heart. It's, I, I put a quote yesterday. The worst thing a man can do is awaken the love in a woman and, and choose not to love her. Okay. So this makes me think, and it's all resonating with this energy here, but now it's too late. Somebody wanted to put a dagger in my heart, right? By luring off the soulmate energy that's in the 3D, right? So maybe you don't get what's in the spiritual. You don't get that twin flame. You don't get that. Matter of fact, the twin flame might not even be on this plane anymore or this planet or whatever. I want to take all of that away, right? And so <laughs> I have to speak of what I feel and what I sense and what I see. So that connection that you've been so busy feeding, it's a, it, it, and like I said, it's all an attack or a assault on someone because they want people to be heartless. They want people to just not feel and not love and not. So I, I finally get my whole heart back after self-healing, self-meditating, self, all this stuff, you know, from childhood, you know, things and, you know, coming from places where that's not the case, may not have been the case where I felt outside or like an outsider or something, right? Right. And then not even that somebody wants to point and it almost is like this, this Gemini energy here that wants to point out the fact that, yeah, well, something has already been consummated on 222. So there ain't no turning back now. But I feel like I beg to differ. Because I feel like, again, once you identify a setup, there is something that you can do about it. <laughs> it's just what? Because now it's to the point where you know, hearts were ripped apart. Things have been ripped apart where it would seem like people could laugh and say whatever, but I feel like the person, you know, it doesn't matter. The person, it's like a one-step thing, <laughs> a, a sense of uh, uh, humbling or blocking, a sense of pride. But it's also to, you know, you don't want to come off as like, I know I can do this and I'll do it right now and I'll show you that, you know. So, again, it's just this battle here. Because there's one thing somebody could do, but I don't, you know, nobody wants to be doing that. I don't want to compromise myself for that. I know that there's one thing that could probably happen right now, okay, or could have happened even before whatever this connection that they're trying to taunt me with might have happened with the masculine with, in the 3D. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what this, I'm just saying on a spiritual sense or whatever it could be. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like too late. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Because the, 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 the kings hate the woman because, again, she was blinded in the mind and the soul when whoever, I think it's a, when we, I'm going to use Satan, okay, or this mother of Babylon, this whore of energy, or this magistrate, or this energy of this feminine energy that was uh, a gateway to the minds of many women on this plane, like a, a madam, right? It's of the astral world. Do you understand what I'm saying? That wanted the title for herself. So while she, the son of man has been exalted, right? A descendant of feminine energy and dressed real nice and propped up in front of the indigenous community that also has been caught spying on me and, and going um, and, and uh, using my information or my work as their own, period. Not all of it, but this is how they came up. So this is a learning the language of somebody, learning the love language, learning everything about a woman, spying on them daily, daily, so you can try to give that to her man. But they don't understand the power of love in that person, in that it doesn't matter what they're saying. They want to try to embarrass me. They want to try to get me back for something I wasn't even aware was going on. You see what I'm saying? When these masculines were coming in, I feel like this is, like I said, this was sorcery here. I could never, and I feel like some, something make me want to think that this got something to do with Russia and China. And alterations being done to individuals. And sorcery as well. So my heart is exploding. It always has been in this realm. But in the astral realm, again, being blinded and also not being able to feel. So it's like whatever these energies were coming into, maybe angels or night energy or page energy, it wasn't reciprocated because I, I did not, I could not sense them. Do you see what I'm saying? But it was really mainly so I couldn't sense what was going on in the underworld or what was going on in the... Uh, probably going on in the subconscious, okay? So this is what how they could love that energy as much because, again, I feel like we're dealing with a sacred pool energy here, a sacred stream. So it would only have people see this feminine energy, a main feminine energy or an empress as just that, some type of portal that you just go to. That's why her heart is sitting on the floor next to her and her pineal gland is in a tree behind her. Being compart her, her kundalini is outside of her body. I'm seeing baby blue in uh, butterflies, okay? So the kundalini is outside of the body because people have been using this energy. Again, it's like Sarah Bartman as a specimen, as a something. And the funny thing is, we talk about these things and then a thousand years, I mean, all these years, hundreds of years later, we scream about how this, this particular group did it to that particular group. But now we're getting and seeing living time that, that it can be any groups. It's just foul people and there's people that want to do right. There's people that want to give and there's people that want to take. And they don't want to have no connection. They don't have no ties. They don't want to pay spiritually, physically, financially, nothing for what they've taken. A living, something that somebody needs to keep alive for at least 40 years so that they can suck from it. But what source is going to show them is that this is a forever thing. There is no more. You might have think you found it with temperance and with this energy of the temperance card, pouring something and science and everything. That's why the, the angel is looking kind of frustrated there. Because this is the only one. This is it. <laughs> it's going to be done right this time. Something is about to be done anew. Something is going to be made right here. Because somebody's been able to look at the whole thing now. I always say it was right is right and what's wrong is wrong. So I think God, made, like I said, God made them believe this such and such thing or whatever. But at the end... That's why it's almost I'm seeing two things, 
either the empress sitting high on her throne, getting her inheritance the way she was supposed to because masculines don't want nothing to do with her or somebody wanted to go there other. This made me, because I was thinking about the whole thing about coming up to your own vomit. So hopefully we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Because I feel like that's a way to also try to end this or stop this from happening. But we're going to come up, we're going to look at what that's really saying. All right. So I think God wanted to let these, the Lord God and these other gods with a little GC, how it's going to be made to be believing something here possibly. And it goes back to, um, I, I don't know if it was the sealed portion um, or the Nag Hammadi that said that then the earth was given over to the feminine energy. This... I feel has something to do with Elizabethan energy here. Dan, whatever, whatever. I'm hearing like a, a the bigger picture. It's almost like something abruptly has stopped. Look at this, this tower card. No, now this is what I pulled last night here. This tower card here. Somebody, this is a strong, this is like Goliath or a strong masculine energy here that's tearing down this tower. It's on fire. Somebody came in and stopped something here. Somebody standing tall for someone here. This may be, again, the energy. Um, yeah. Yes. That. Oh, right here with this eight of cups that I felt walked away at one point in time, but I felt like it just ain't that. Definitely somebody felt like they passed on or passed away or passed something down. But I feel like whatever this is, it may, it may not be, you know, it may be somebody that's been healed or, oh, 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 the person that looked like they was wounded in the head. Okay. This could have been a physical head wound. It could be a mental stability. Okay. That again, I feel like the divine masculine mirrors that energy. All right. And I am marrying that energy. It appears that somebody is trying to hurt. It's beyond ego because I don't really, feel, just because I talk boisterous and like I do doesn't mean it's egotistical. It's just I don't think nobody never met nobody that many people, especially. I think with this ascension, it's just opened up different chambers and people are not used to people being sure of what they're saying. Not having nothing to hide, just being, you know what I'm saying? After a same, certain point of when, when this trial started, I feel, two years ago. Source wiped away all that other stuff. That, none of that, you know what I'm saying? This is what it is. Forget about the stuff that has been projected to you. Forget about what people been doing to you that you had no control over. You can't do nothing about what people do to you. you that's a different type of healing you go through when you find out that somebody does something. This is why people do something to me. They throw these things. They throw these things. And they wonder, why is she still smiling the next day? Why is she, why she don't seem like she affected? You know, uh, it don't mean that I'm not hurting or I'm not feeling or sensing that. It's just I know that I had no control over that in the first place. What I do have control over of what's going on within in within me. Being true to that. After working so hard on that and never thinking that I <laughs> could come to this place. So the 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 projecting that energy of oh somebody might be coming to you tonight somebody with that you know, I wonder why it rubbed me the wrong way. I'm like, no, I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm clean. You know, like, you know, and not, I'm not saying like in a holy, like a way where God would, I'm just saying, but the way I know I'm healing and cleansing myself, put it like that. But I think it was all an illusion, you know, or some part of an imagination, right? Which again, sorcery, really. I'm hearing if these walls could talk and I'm thinking don't nothing even go on in this house. It's boring as hell. <laughs> you know, except for when I used to be, you know, more creative. 
you know? But I feel like, you know, maybe again, like I said, that, that could be projected energy. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing shadows. I'm seeing a projected energy like on a projector, like the thing that, you know, we used to have back in the 80s in school. Okay? <laughs> so anyways, that was too much. Okay, that's a lot, y'all, that we just did. Okay, so let's go ahead. Why am I taking my glasses off? Let's go ahead and read this. All right? Okay. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> It really, really was. Okay. Let's see. I'll be forgetting I forgot. It's feeling like I forgot to say something, but it's all right. Okay. So again, written after Nathan the prophet had come to inform David of God's judgment against him. Okay? So this is God judging David. Okay? And also this that coin here is making me think about the most high at the time, which something this could be interchangeable possibly here. The most high God would be, I guess, the one that's on your mind maybe. Um, but that could be astral energy, um, telepathic communication, you know, the only person that you can see, you know, maybe, right? But but if this heart chakra belongs to somebody else, then you're not aligned. That's, ooh, that's why I'm seeing this eight here, that, that eight energy. D it has to be, this person has to be on your mind and in your heart. And then this will be the defeat, maybe, of those that are under defeat. And I feel like maybe sometimes you might have the wrong ones under your feet. Maybe not. I don't know. But again, it's like a, I'm, I just looked and I, okay, I had a vision. I envisioned these things going around and like a juggling act here. But maybe that's also the two of pentacles juggling, juggling back and forth between the heart and the mind. Again, I don't read tarot. It's just, I'm going off of images here because again, I feel like the Torah is in the tarot and the tarot is in the Torah. All right. So again, and that's, I feel like that's what has to be, that's the decision that had to be made at this point or was supposed to be made, you know, recently. Okay. So it's saying written after Nathan, the prophet had come to inform David of God's judgment against him because of his adultery with Bathsheba. Okay. So this, I feel like this is the energy. Somebody has been trying to tell me, you don't think you think you all that and everything, but your man been, you know, and again, that could just be projecting. Like I told y'all before, even the video that I did last night, it's seeming like this is what it is. It's either sorcery or this is what's going on. So again, actions, uh, actions are, if actions match, if people's actions change and it match what's projected, it could be heavy sorcery, but you can never, all you can just, you could be sure that, you know what I'm saying? You are true to yourself. You can't be sure that everybody is going to be true to you. And it's a challenge to be 100% truthful or let things out, especially if you feel like you can't trust the person or they're not giving you or there's something like this here. Okay. So again, if somebody can implant trust issues on a relationship, then that's it. But I feel like, again, definitely some consummation or something happened here. I feel like the, um, I feel like something happened here. Rather, it's again with a, um, a higher up uh, being or with this person in the physical and they're just lying straight to my face. Because somebody was even saying, so what? It doesn't matter, ma matter if there's a marriage there. But that's against the law, though. If somebody is getting married and they're already married. Unless they did it in another state. Okay? So, anyways. Because of his adultery with Bathsheba and his murder of Uriah. And I don't know who. Why that's standing out to me. Mm, this could be cutting off somebody. King of Swords. Maybe that's why King of Swords was in reverse yes, the day before yesterday. Right? This could be, I don't know. I don't know if this could be physical or, like I said, socially. It could be, you know, legally. It could be whatever. I don't know. Her husband. I don't know.
I'm hearing like a god dang girl is mine, but I don't know. I don't like the way that it's breaking it up right here. Bath, Sheba with this dash in the middle. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, I hope nobody got lured into somebody's. Okay, because I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing a bath though too. But maybe I'm also seeing a house that's shaped like a tabernacle. I don't know. Maybe somewhere in the garden. I don't know. A murder of Uriah, her husband. See, and this is what I'm saying. I don't know. Like I said, cutting off. Or just like even what I'm saying, the whole 10 years ago thing. But it just made me think like something happened for a reason maybe. I don't know. Like... I don't know. I feel like somebody was going to be trying to harm me and somebody was trying to protect me, man. Somebody that's been watching me my whole life, man. I promise you that's what I feel. I'm not 100% sure. Or somebody that something that's been hovering over me trying to attack me my whole life. This person was trying to, I don't know, I feel like somebody was trying to protect somebody, man. And they got cast out of heaven. I feel like 20 years ago or something or something like this. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, loving, kind God, have mercy. Have pity upon me and take away the awful stain of my transgression. Because I feel like this, you know, Psalms, Psalms did come up. 51 did. Okay, this is what we're doing first, okay? Yeah, this is Psalms 51. It did come up before 2 Samuel. Because I feel like this has something to do with the pearl. The pearl that is attached to the the head of God. That can also be possibly serpentine energy and cunning. Again, I feel like whatever happened when it comes to Louisiana in my fam my lineage. Something, I don't know, with Louisiana and Barbados energy, something trickery happened with over time lineage with that. You know, I don't know what it is, but this is what the ancestors are saying. Something happened with the bloodlines, some mixing up. Even there was this girl um, online was... Um, uh, Okay, so my name is Shalanda, but I think her name was like uh, La, La Roche or something like that. And I feel like, you know, that's the only person, other, other feminine energy in the tarot community that has been saying something about the white, like a road to the White House or whatever. But when I was looking at that energy, like, it's just like, you know, I was thinking about, because I was just thinking about John Adams and, Wash, uh, and George Washington. And why that sign of Washington's face being bludgeoned in the side of her, his face. Why that was showing up. And, and George Washington energy give me um, the Virgo energy and Scorpionic energy. Okay. Virgo and Scorpio. Okay. And um, I sense Virgo and Scorpio. But like I said, as above, so below. I feel like whatever I was sensing, they were not in their right mind. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm dealing with the spirit or something off of the Virgo and the and and uh, the Virgo off of the Virgo and the Scorpionic energy that lured me to that spot that I went to that day where I sensed their energy. Well, just one, the Scorpionic energy, but I felt like it was saying that at some point in time the Virgo energy was in that that area at the same time. So again, with with that branch falling and hitting some bludgeoning somebody in the head, this is it's like a hostage situation. Like somebody was holding somebody hostage, right? I don't even know if this might. I don't know why it just said Brown University or something like that. I am looking at this 
this this pinnacle on somebody's head though so back to that energy <clears throat> Oh, wash me, cleanse me from this guilt. Let me be pure again. So all these people are just like knowing what it is and sitting there hovering over like vultures. That's the vulture energy that's been protect. Okay, so yeah. So it's showing me a vulturistic energy that has been protecting that woman that's holding those four pinnacles. Rags to riches. But see, what they don't understand is when it comes to that queen of pinnacles and blowing out that smoke, at least one, of the, okay, you can have that. Nobody is hating on that. I ain't never hating on nobody. What's fair is fair and what's equal is equal. But what they don't realize is one of those pinnacles that might be the biggest pinnacle, right? See, because I'm thinking about that scripture that said the ones whose wife didn't, husband left or didn't leave or something like that. But what they may not be realizing that the bis, biggest pinnacle may be the one that the queen of pinnacles is holding, that portion, okay? I give you my portion or that portion. Okay, could be representing something that, again, somebody is holding. So that Queen of Pentacles represents somebody's holding on to something of mine. And also, I'm seeing Queen of Cups energy. Because, yeah, these people are Queen of Cups. These are spies. And some of these people's spies have turned stalker. Rather, they've been given access telepathically with telekinesis. Or, see, because those parts of me have been blocked. See, that's why I've been easy prey to these people. So, but I think I'm being brought through an ascension, like I said last night in these cards. Look, patience. Look how this lady is coming up out of this ground, out of these roots, with these beads coming out of her body. Y'all can't see it, but I'm going to show it when I come back. When I turn on the camera, I'm going to come. When I do the next video, I'm going to be recording. Yeah. That's what they don't realize. They're just plotting and planning. Okay. Take away awful stain of my transgression. But these are the people that could be making up lies too and telling it to the masculine. And he and, and they believe in it. Okay. Although they may have, you know, like I said, they may have found, you know, with this time, with this eye being out, people could find emails, people can find whatever. It doesn't matter. What source is saying is I make the decisions. I put people through the fire. I test and weigh the hearts and the intentions and things like that. And I feel like a lot of these people have, you know, when I feel like somebody's being genuine, but I learned the hard way. I feel like somebody being genuine and I show support just to be there because I like your content or whatever or whatever. I don't want to steal it. I don't want to, you know, I just like your vibe, your style, or whatever, and I'm here. And as soon as I, I, you know, it's like they're luring, their energy lures me in. And then as soon as I start to interact, you know, you'll see, you'll have readers like, I know you watching. I see you. I know you here or whatever. Yeah, just get out of here or whatever or something. Or they'll say, yeah, you keep coming back because you take them out or whatever. You know, because people say it. We say it. I say it here. But I know what I'm talking about when I say it. All right. I have, you know what I'm saying? I've already confirmed it in different ways. Right. So, you know, I give in, you know, it's hard being different or whatever. Sometimes it's just like resonating with another energy, you know, and I just enjoy, I'm supporting your channel, but I just, you know, I don't want to donate anything because I feel like that's tying, binds, bind, ties that bind people. But every time I, you know, then if I get comfortable on the channel and say, okay, you know, or whatever, and then I, I start to comment or whatever, and then all of a sudden it just changes. And then they just go in with the dagger or whatever. And it's just like, what the, f like, I can't have love. I can't f have friends. I can't have nothing. These are the kind of attacks that we're talking about when it comes to Russia. Because of all these people rush in. And that's why I say if fools rush in. This is that foolish energy here. It shows their cards. It shows their hand. The Russia collusion energy. It shows their hand, to me at least. So it says, oh, wash me, cleanse me from this guilt. So I think this is what maybe the pearl was crying out for because she said if she get him, get the energy back, she ain't never, ever, ever letting him go. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what she's saying. 
So like I said, all this is a setup. And I can't always tell what's going on in the physical and what's going on in the mental. I can't always tell. Because I feel like the same thing. I feel like if I look into the eyes, the it's almost like the masculine is saying that. And I'm... And... And I'm saying that to the masculine too. But I feel like this is definitely the masculine, a masculine energy coming in saying this. At this point in time, this could have been me at another time, right? This could have been me this time last year, all right? Now, this could be the divine, uh, this could be the soulmate this time this year. Again, mental, physical, spiritual, maybe spiritually do doing something wrong. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you stopped drinking or something or stopped smoking and started again. You know, like I said, and this is a universal message, message just told through my eyes, because just like I'm saying, I can resonate with this and I can see somebody else had just resonated with that. You may have resonated with an energy like this because we're just talking about transferable thing, lessons learned and everything. Okay. Could be somebody saying this right now and meaning it. You know what I'm saying? It says, let me be pure again, for I admit my shameful deed. It haunts me day and night. It is against you and you alone I sinned. Hmm. It's against you and you alone I sinned. I did this terrible thing. Why is this making me think about the pearl energy? Hawk, Hawkins. Okay, the, okay, but Russia? Putin? Bruton, Siberia? Sue? Okay. The Carolinas, Meso the Sumer energy um, of the Carolinas? The Mesopotamian energy, not looking at people outwardly. The sun god Ra. Who did I say last year was the most high um, energy or uh, god I felt on this particular earth? I felt it was who? Water is on the knees of this in reverse. So this is why the United States is very worried about Russia. Is that what this is saying? In China? Because it's of the native energy in the water. But it's that tri energy because I'm also of the earth. So I'm supposed to fear Russia coming in. So the most high on earth right now would be a David energy, which would be a leader here. So Abaddon, Apollyon, Biden is the dark horse that has been treating somebody like this. Okay, so, all right, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Questions, listen, I ain't, this ain't, you know what I'm saying? We just channeling right now, I'm trying to get it together. So Ra... Or the sun guy energy could be that of that that's connected with Putin. <gasps> oh, never knew nobody loved you like this. Okay. Okay. The dragon's lair. Okay. So, okay. Oh, my goodness. Something just, I just felt something in my chest. The dragon's lair. This is representing, hold on. I was wondering what this was this morning. So the serpent eating its tail, bruised thy head in the, something to heal, um, but consuming itself, eating it in a full circle kind of energy. That's what that circle is, though. 
But I think the tie that binds or saves me is the, again, being connected to the earth, air, wire, water, fire, um, China, Russia, and America. It's, so it doesn't matter. So the part about the bird, okay, the hawk, Hawkins, judgment, judgment. She, so she thought even maybe last night she was bringing judgment on the empress. And guess what? Judgment is sitting right on top of the empress. But we have a king of wands that's all tired out here. But we have this queen of cups looking in on what I'm doing. And then confusing it and accusing me of doing coming there to take when I'm coming there just to support. Eleven. Eleven eleven. Twenty two twenty two. Yeah. So the eagle, the also the foul bird, the eagle of the Elodio, trying to come down and swoop down and take what's mine. And this is why the ancestors are here again. All right. Like there's no feet when I'm channeling, there's no, emo, there's no trick. There's no, most time I'm the one that get the brunt. Most time I'm the one that get abused from what I'm reading here. You see what I'm saying? Most time it make me look stupid. Most time it make me look like I got to do more, more and more self work, more and more. So again, anybody coming here with that, that's not my intentions. That's not my behavior. And I feel like, again, at the end of the day, source knows my heart. Source knows where I'm coming from. So the confusion spell comes with that. Don't don't trip on the tarot root here. But there's some kind of Gemini animosity, something going back and forth or was here. And it may be too late because the person maybe have gone back to old ways here. But I'm telling you, there's, there was something strange here. There's always been monitoring spirits or something. I never knew that they were there. And it doesn't matter because, again, wipe away their, all their tears. So I'm supposed to be afraid of what's happening right now, but it's really the U.S. that's afraid of what's about to happen here because of the work that Source has been doing with the righteous ones. And just because there's a, I get, that's why that, okay, the language barrier, just reading energy here. Okay. All right. Uh, uh. All right. I apologize. Okay. Okay. Do you remember the time? Okay. The energy of the Kremlin. Okay. Because, okay, growing up on Jackson Street. Okay. So removing the elite. Maybe a good thing, but there is someone that's righteous now. So what they use to try to trip me up, maybe, is going to trip up the soulmate. And now they it's like they're going back. They, they maybe were sorry about something and they're going back to it out of spite. Maybe because they won't open up and I won't open up and now there's this big gap in between. So, But, but I'm still going to continue to heal. And if they choose to do something against me, hey, so maybe this is the energy of, again, a, a divinely gift wrapped. It's almost like King Triton saying she really does love him. Like a dream come true. And I can't even get excited about it. Because that's as soon as somebody try to come and snatch something right the fuck away. Let's see what it says. Come with great power, O God, and save me. Defend me with your might. Oh, listen to my prayer. 
for violent men have risen against me. Ruthless men who care nothing for God are seeking my life. Dang, that's Psalm 54. Now this was, this. now they might've said that was a fiery serpent or they might've said, but that was pure whatever it was yesterday that I was feeling. That was that roar. That was that roar, that Mufasa, that, that was that roar. Live in a land where the people, you don't, you don't understand their language, but they're going to worship you. But God is my helper. He is a friend of mine. He will cause the evil deeds of my enemies to boomerang upon them. Wow. Do as you promise and put an end to these wicked men, O God. Gladly I bring my sacrifices to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. Okay. So that's where the Washington energy come in to wash it, make it clean. Because that's what Washington means. God has rescued me from all my trouble and triumphed over my enemies. Because at the end of the day, like I told y'all, it felt like pers it was personal. Um, when it comes to the administration, they was doing this on purpose. And, and he didn't lie. They called him. Okay, so they called him the serpent, but he did not lie. He didn't lie. And say that the, when I told y'all, but, but people didn't want, the media didn't want to hear that. But he didn't lie when he said that all this was caused because of the United States aggression against a certain group. I'm hearing that's the way I feel about you. So this is like a friend of mine energy here. Like you're my best friend energy. And it's almost like I changed not, you know. And um, there's a sense of proudness from the ancestors, I feel. I feel like that's the energy like if um, turn his back on his best friend if he put her down. So maybe the Gemini represents the Biden administration and the Scorpionic energy, the sting of the Scorpionic energy or the Triton is the lineages that tie back to, um, the Scorpionic energy, uh, that ties back to Maybe Russia, maybe even China, though. The wolf clans and the native energy. Look at this. I'm going to save it till we get on here. Look at this. Paka Ma. Okay, dear mama. Okay, Tupac Amaru energy here. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay oh my goodness okay okay I see it okay I see it <laughs> okay in this woman here in this this leopard here in this oh no okay all right. <sighs> if you don't know me by now. All right. Oh, is it? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. She with the, let me put my glasses on, I can't even see. With the Andean Emerald Heart. Oh. 